makes the door close. Yes, sir. Neil, I've just spoken to Mr. Nolan. I think that you're taking too many extracurricular activities this semester, and I've decided that you should drop the school annual. But I'm the assistant editor this year. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Neil. But, Father, I can't. It wouldn't be fair. Fellas! Could you excuse us for a moment? Father, I wasn't just after you finished medical school and you're on your own, then you can do as you damn well please. But until then, you do as I tell you. Is that clear? Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Well, just don't tell me how to talk to my father. You guys are the same way. All right, all right, Jesus. So what are you going to do then? What I have to do, drop the annual. Well, I wouldn't lose too much sleep over. It's just a bunch of jerks trying to impress Nolan. I don't care. I don't give a damn about any of it. <laughs> First 20 questions at the end of chapter one are due tomorrow. Back to Columbia. Because believe it or not, each and every one of us in this room is one day going to stop breathing, turn cold, and die. Let's go, boys. Hustle up in here. That means you, Dalton. All right, who's up for a trick study group tonight, guys? Sure. Me. I can't make it, guys. I have to have dinner at the Danbury's house tonight. The Danbury's? You're the Danbury's. Big alums. How are you doing that? Friends of my dad's. I'm probably in their 90s or something. Oh, second. Yes. What happened? Tonight, I met the most beautiful girl I have ever seen in my entire life. Are you crazy? What's wrong with that? She's practically engaged to Chet Danbury. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, five minutes. Let's go. Did you see her naked? <laughs> Very funny, doll. That wouldn't be a uh, radio in your lap, would it, Mr. No, sir. Science experiment. Radar. Then ask two questions. One, how artfully has the objective of the poem been rendered? And two, how important is that objective? Question. Rip out the entire page. If the powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. Quite an interesting class you gave today, Mr. Keating. Sorry if I shocked you, Mr. McAllister. Well, there's no need to apologize. It was very fascinating. Misguided though I was. I think so. Show me the heart unfettered by foolish dreams, and I'll show you a happy man. But only in their dreams can men be truly free. It was always thus, and always thus will be. Tennyson? No, Keating. A man most likely to do anything. <laughs> Die, man. Mr. K was a hellraiser. <laughs> God. What's the Dead Poets Society? See, we would gather at the old Indian cave, take turns reading from Thoreau, Whitman, Shelley, the biggies, even some of our own verse. And in the enchantment of the moment, we'd let poetry work its magic. You mean it was a bunch of guys sitting around reading poetry? No, Mr. Overstreet, it wasn't just guys. Thank you, Mr. Perry, for this stroll down Amnesia Lane. Burn that, especially my picture. <laughs> Oh! Me too. I don't know, Neil. What? Pitts! Pitsy, come on! His grades are hurting, Charlie. You can help him, Meeks. What is this, a midnight study group? Forget it, Pitts, you're coming. Meeks, your grades hurting too? I'll try anything once. Except sex. Uh -huh. I mean, as long as we're careful. Todd, you coming tonight? No. What if you didn't have to read? What if you just came and listened? That's not how it works. Well, forget how it works. What if, what if they said it was okay? What, what are you gonna go up and ask him? No, no, I'll be right back. Neil, Neil! You're in. Get away from me, okay? That's why you check your pockets. <laughs> It's too wet. Oh. <laughs>
smoke smoke out of here? No, no, the smoke's going right up this opening. Ah! Ah! No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. There's a young married couple and they're driving through the forest at night from a long trip and they run out of gas and there's a madman on them. Oh, they're staying with madman man on the road. I love that story. I told you that one. You did yeah. not. I got that in uh, camp. Makes, put your coat down. Picnic blanket. Yes, hey, sir. Use me. Raisins? Yeah. Wait a minute. You gave us half a roll. I'm going use the other half. Come on. Oh, you want me to put it back? A man is not very tired, he is exhausted. And don't use very sad use. Come on, Mr. Overstreet, you twerp. <laughs> morose? Yeah, exactly, morose. Why don't you just call him and ask him, and, and maybe he'll say yes. That's a laugh. If I don't ask him, at least I won't be disobeying him. Yeah, but if he said no Jesus, before, Todd, then... whose side are you on? Even enjoy the idea for a little while. I want you all to come over here and take a slip of paper. You know what to do, Pitts. Oh, to struggle against great odds, to meet enemies undaunted. Sounds to me like you're daunted. Say it again like you're undaunted. It made you seem not only in poetry, but life. Mr. Anderson thinks that everything inside of him is worthless and embarrassing. Isn't that right, Todd? And that's your worst fear. The rooftops of the world. Chaos screaming, chaos dreaming. Gotta do more, gotta be more! <laughs> I've been calm all my life. I'm gonna do something about that. Where are you going? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna call her. <laughs> oh, oh. She's gonna hate me. The Danberries will hate me. My parents will kill me. All right, goddammit. You're right. Carpe diem. The point, Charlie is uh, yeah. that she was thinking about me. Thinking about me. Mr. Pitts, taking his time. He knew he'll get there one day. Mr. Cameron, you can see him thinking, is this right? It might be right, it might be right. I know that, maybe not, I don't know. Mr. Overstreet, driven by a deeper force. Slow up. Yes. We know that, all right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, guys. Meet uh, Gloria and... Tina. Tina. In keeping with the spirit of passionate experimentation of the dead poets, I'm giving up the name Charles Dalton. From now on, call me Nuwanda. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Yeah. Now, come on now. meeting or what yeah if you guys don't have a meeting how do we know if we want to join join oh. well, john the curriculum here is said it's proven it works if you question it what's to prevent them from doing the same i always thought the idea of education was to learn to think for yourself at these boys age not on your life it was a pretty lame stunt you pulled today you're siding with mr nolan what about carpe diem and sucking all the marrow out of life? Sucking all that? the marrow out of life doesn't mean choking on the bone. <laughs> all right, go on. Chris, go ahead, guys. I'll catch up. Yeah, come on, guys. Chris, you can't be in here. If they catch you, we're both gonna be in danger. Come on. Hi. Hey, by your side, no bedroom me deny. Hey, stop! I why? He's a ref. 
He's in it up to his eyes, so he ran in to save himself. Don't touch him, Charlie. You're doing your out. The wife He's good. He's really Following good. Status. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> Damn, son. These bitches want some. Hey, Freddy, can I, um, no, bitch, you fucking dumb. This is for all of you guys. I would love to know where you think your characters ended up as well. Like you can make that part of your, your thing. Like, do you think? Well, yeah. yeah. Where are they today? I mean, I, well? I've already, we've actually already discussed some of something like this before. Right. Meeks went, went to went to Vietnam. Every day, I imagine the future where I can be.